what's up you guys today the company we will be using is ally grace and what came in the package was a wig cap and of course the wig this is a 13 by 4 12 inch bob um the wig came pre-plucked and it came with four clips inside and i believe this was a medium brown lace Okay, let's get started. So, first we're going to mix up our bleach. I use 30 volume developer and bleaching powder. And you want to make sure that the consistency is not too watery or too thick. You want to make sure it's like, probably like toothpaste or pancake batters. One, between one of those two. So, when putting the bleach on the hair, I usually start in the middle and then go to each side. When you're doing the step, you want to be extremely gentle. Do not try to push the bleach into the lace because you can bleach the hair and you do not want that. You just want your knots to be bleached. So take your time. You see how I'm taking my time? Yes, take your time and yeah. I also use a butter knife. I feel like a butter knife is just so much better because like the spread is smooth and it's just so easier to apply on the lace. So I... I recommend using a butter knife. Also, you guys want to make sure that you're measuring out a good amount of bleach because you do not want to have a lot left over like I did at the end. But I ended up using that on another wig. So be cautious and always make sure that you're measuring out good. Now we're going to take four paper and we're going to cover the lace. When doing this, you could like press it down a little bit but not too much because you do not want the bleach again to get into the roots so i left that on the lace for about 10 15 minutes and i came back and i checked it and i seen that it was done so now we're gonna take it up and we're gonna wash it out with shimmer light shampoo the purple shampoo and when you do that you want to leave it on the lace for about 10 15 minutes as well this is what we're working with the knots are fully bleached as you can see Now for the plucking process. When plucking, I usually start behind the part where they already plucked and I just go straight back. Like just, you know, you can see what I'm doing and you wanna go in different sections. Do not stay in that same spot for too long because that can cause balding and you do not want that. So just move around and you know, just keep like plucking backwards in that same motion or a zigzag motion whatever you desire to make sure that the lace is you know natural here you can see that i parted off the part that that was already plucked and now i'm plucking behind that hairline so i'm just doing the same steps that i said before and i parted off two sections i believe and i'm just doing the same steps going in a backwards motion Here I just slowed it down a little to show you guys how I'm actually going in my actual pace. As you can see, I'm taking my time and I'm going in different spots. That is exactly what you want to do. And you do not want to like press, I don't know how to explain it, but you would just want to be gentle because you can tear holes and a lot of different things inside the lace and you do not want that. So please take your time.
now i'm basically done with the plucking on this side but i'm gonna go back in and hit up a few spots that i missed and you know continue to at least thin out the hairline just a little bit more to my desire So this is how this side is looking. As you can see, there's a big difference between the other side, which you will see in a few. So yeah, as you can see, this side is looking like, what is that? Like it's looking wiggy and not natural. So look, just look, yeah, mm-hmm. And then look at that side, boom. Yup, honey, this is what you want. <laughs> Now I'm just going in and doing this other side and I'm following the same exact steps that I did for the other side. So just continue watching and you will see the final look. Here I just slowed it down once again to show you guys the actual pace that I'm going in and what I'm actually doing. Also, I want to add that you want to always part off or know where your part is going to be when plucking because you don't want to pluck too much in that section because it's going to look extremely, like, weird, you know? So, always have in mind where your part is going to be.
Do y'all see how natural that looks? Like, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> but we are completely done with the plucking process. And now I'm just playing around with the hair just a little and showing you guys, you know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.